Session will die, so. So we have this is the setup in one room. We have the same setup in both rooms. We have three laptops in each room, and they are connected to the one camera in the front, the camera in the back, and this slide grabber here. And then there's at this laptop where Phil is sitting at the big camera. There's the DV switch program running, which you can use to switch between the different streams. Um, this is one setup maintaining the cameras and, and the room. Um, we, re we stream in the day. In the night, there are jobs running which encode the videos to um, smaller resolutions. Um, this needs reviewing. There's a Penta interface for this, so you can mark files for reviewing. And um, these are the three work areas we have. We have those two rooms to cover and the reviewing. And today the chef this here will explain I think first the camera and then the reviewing process or maybe uh, I think that's the best. Um, reviewing needs to be done every day during um, the talks also so that um, we don't have a backlog in the end. know what else to say in general. I think we should just start with the training and which is done. Franklin will introduce the camera workflow in the room and Tiago will explain the reviewing process. Both are documented in the wiki. There's links to the reviewing process here and there's the these cheat sheets for the um, devices but it's actually better to um, look what people are doing and learn by really watching and reading the cheat sheets as an additional help. Okay. Da, da. Um, actually, it would be da, nice da. to show the TV switch, but we can't. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, first maybe the camera. Uh, if you don't understand me, just let me know. Um, I try to speak slower and better. Um, we have two cameras. Uh, basically, this one is mainly intended to get uh, the audience. Uh, and the other one, other one, obviously, is mainly intended to get the speaker. Uh, on some occasion, you may want to do different shots. Uh, Sometimes we have, uh, at some point, we had someone standing here which was doing translation, and it could be nice to show that guy, and only that camera could do it. Um, sorry for moving. Uh, with that's something we try to avoid. We avoid to move the camera when uh, when we during the talk, uh, because when we move the camera during the talk, it's crappy. So it's nice to avoid moving during the talk. We can move the camera during the talk, but then the other camera should be on. Of course, we can switch the sources, so. Yeah, thank you for making, making this clear. Um, okay, so f with this camera, the usual, I don't know if you have done some video. Um, four years ago, I didn't do any, so I, I just tried to give you all the tricks I've learned and we, uh, which I've been told. Um, if the speaker moves a lot, you probably want to have some large uh, shot, uh, so you don't have to move the camera all the time again. Whereas if the speaker is standing still, uh, you can have no uh, shot just right on him. Uh, it's good idea also to move sometime and have different view, so the speaker is not always you don't always see it in, see him in the same position. You can have smaller, la smaller uh, shot, larger shot. 
Um, this one is actually uh, requires actually more work. Um, I'll try to show the stream maybe no. Uh, with this one, you want uh, to have a feedback from the audience. So it's nice at the beginning of the talk to have a large uh, shot to see the everybody in the room. Um, especially the seat where there are people, obviously. In this case, I would probably more focus on the right side than on the left side, or things like that. Uh, so those are nice to have, you know, a feeling of how many people are in the room and stuff like that. Um, during the talk, you can spot at some people in the audience. Uh, so the talk is more personal and we know, you know, we are a community, we want to see that there's people in the room. Uh, obviously, we don't want to see people who are sleeping or we are uh, hacking on the laptop, but that's obvious. Um, we have a hint. People should always use the mic to ask questions. <laughs> oh, because of this camera moving problem, there might be a problem if you make shoots of of one or two persons and then the speaker asks how many, then normally you should zoom out as, as, as fast as possible. And um, you have two possibilities, either not make this close shots or or you move, um, or you zoom out and don't care about it that you shouldn't move the camera. <laughs> Actually, uh, this is a good question, and there's probably many answers depending on who you ask. I would go for if you have the wrong shot, if you know how and you want to a wide shot just right now. Personally, I would just be be bold and move right away. Uh, some other people we try to be nicer and you go switch to the slide and then let the cameraman open the view uh, to have a lou larger shot and they go back to the audience or it depends how you feel. And yeah, uh, wait a second, I'll just put myself on. There we go. Can you uh, put point that at me? Uh, one thing that, if you're the director, is really annoying is when someone zooms into the person that's just about to ask a question, and you think, "Oh, great!" And then the cameraman decides that it's not the perfect shot and tries to adjust it because that's the perfect moment to have gone to that camera, and then the person's head goes whizzing around the screen. So, if the shot's good enough, just leave it alone. It's much better to have an okay shot than to have the wandering camera thing. And it's really difficult to move that camera without making it go all over the place. The other thing that I like for that camera is if the, the speaker is walking back and forth, it's difficult to track with this camera. So a side shot. In this room, it doesn't work so well. But uh, in the other room, it'll probably be good because they'll be talking towards their slides. And you can have them walking back and forth on the side camera. And they'll be walking towards that camera. Whereas on this, the, the cameraman has to keep on wandering the camera back and forth. So that's another reason to, if there's nothing interesting in the audience, More point it at the speaker maybe. Um, so we've already, we have pointed out a few times that we want to avoid moving the camera uh, when uh, when the pictures from that camera is uh, in use. Uh, we have a trick for that, and usually we used to have something nicer and more efficient. But um, <laughs> for this session, for this week, we'll have to do it manually. 
uh, the guy behind the DV switch. It's actually the guy who selects which picture we send to the stream. And when he uses pictures from here, uh, then he's supposed to raise this red uh, uh, paper to say, well, don't move, I'm uh, publishing your, your stream. And uh, well, once the paper is down, you can move the camera uh, as you want again. That seems clear to you? Any questions so far? Um, we have yet another stream, a third stream, which, well, um, it's the one from the presenter laptop. At this moment, I am the presenter, so I could, for instance, uh, show my screen. This picture comes from, I mean, from my laptop to this box. We call it Twin Pact. Uh, the resolution of the laptop should be 800 by 600 or 1024 by 768. The 800 by 600 is nicer because it's very large. Uh, for your information, the stream we are sending out is 320 by 240. So it's very slow. Very small. Sorry. We'll go to the other room. This is basically how big the picture are, uh, what we broadcast. Um, Yay. Yay. <laughs> um, just for your information, we have usually something like say six to eight second uh, uh, delay uh, for the stream. Um, well, that's fine. <laughs> uh, as you can see, the what we push in the picture and picture is fairly small. I mean, the picture is already small, but what's in picture and picture is even smaller. Uh, so when you use the role of TV switch, uh, keep that in mind and don't expect people to be able to read the stuff. If it's a slide that is in the picture in picture, the small square thing, uh, right. obviously it's almost impossible to read it. Um, what would we say about TV switch? So the, for the recordings, the quality will be better. Because the stream is really low quality, so everybody in the world can see the streams, but the recordings will have good resolutions and slides are better readable. Yeah, yeah, true. But still, what could you said? Yeah. Rankin said. Good morning, by the way. We've been through camera one, camera two. Uh, we usually have three microphones in each room, uh, one for uh, with headset and uh, one wireless, and I think the third one in each room has a, a cord. It's not connected right now, but it should be. Uh, there should be a microphone here going to the wall. Uh, this is a job for the audio stream. Maybe you want to, to say something about the audio, Magnus? The, the audio is, is pretty easy. Um, it's just uh, two, micro type, two microphones, I think. This one, which is for the audience. Another one, which is for the speaker. And yeah, I mean, we should have a look on the, the equipment itself. It's just turning it on, level the, the volume, and that's pretty much it. And make sure that there are always batteries on these microphones, because they're wireless. So. There are some charges, and you should always charge the microphone. When do we switch the batteries? Do we switch it at noon and evening, or? 
I would uh, switch the ma the batteries uh, before every new speaker because so you will be sure that there's no problem. Since they are rechargeable, it's not a problem. Okay, uh, I think now we should be we should go we should split in a few teams and each one looking at uh, each one of those devices. Uh, we have some cheat sheet somewhere, 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 yeah, some like this. Uh, there is one cheat sheet for this camera. Um, it says how to zoom in, to zoom out, and uh, a few stuff which you should know. It's good if you can take time to read it. If you speak Spanish, uh, on the wiki you can find some translated version of this uh, paper, on some of those paper. We have two cheat sheets for the camera over there because we have a, a, a some kind of tape uh, disc to to switch and to empty. Uh, there's a, uh, a cheat sheet for the TV switch. It's a guy uh, who decide which uh, stream we broadcast. This is a whole name director and a uh, cheat sheet for the uh, audio stuff. So we can sp split the group and in one, two, three, four groups, maybe. One thing, um, this is we have this volunteer schedule wiki, uh, page in Penta where you can um, register and say you want to do um, sound mixer in this talk or a director is the DV switch operator and camera positions are taken here. Please go through the schedule and um, join talks where you want to work at, at best today so that we can see where, which talks need more volunteers. Not just only show up, but also please sign up in Penta. If you don't have, not done, if you don't have the rights to that, come to me and I will give you access to Penta um, so that you can do that. Talkmeister role is not related to the video team and the coordinator is an experienced person who's um, sitting in the room and making sure that people are doing the jobs and show up and else find replacements. Okay, two camera operator, one director, uh, one sound mixer. Uh, the coordinator is something which is done half day so uh, you, you should be quite experienced to do it because you're the guy in charge of helping others sol um, solving problems they have and uh, if you take coordinator take half day all the morning or all the afternoon um, during the talk uh, we can have a look at the IRC channels there are two, tires, two IRC channels uh, usually the guy at the TV switch use it um, and in the other room we use the IRC channel to communicate between the audio the people in the audio room and people at the TV switch to know if the sound level is okay on the stream uh, well. any question yeah there's something I forgot about the sound uh, we had before uh, a backup microphone with a cable which went into this box. This apparently doesn't work. So we can plug in another wireless microphone like this one. We have enough of these. And the other thing is, yeah, about the, we have also a headset which is very convenient. The main speaker sh uh, should have the headset. Um, just make sure that, yeah, we can demonstrate this. Just make sure that the microphone, this is the microphone, that it's not like this, so you won't understand anything. So you have to take care that they, that, that they, that's at the same height uh, with the mouth, so. Sorry? So when 
Yeah, sure, sure. That was too high, actually. <laughs> yeah, so. This is giving this uh, microphone to the speaker is the whole of the talk master, so it's not supposed to be our job, but we can help and make sure it's your turn. Phil, can you show people how to use TV Switch? I guess you'll do the uh, audio part. Um, it says, yeah. Just go through all, all, all four jobs and try and actually touch the camera and uh, the actually try the camera, see how it's connected, uh, where you turn it on, off. Um, yes, on this camera, you should uh, start recording uh, by pressing the button at the beginning of the talk and stop at the end. <laughs> but people do. On this one, we don't have any tape, so it's no need to do it. And uh, this, um, yeah, that's all. So, yeah, that's it. That's why the nose sounds. <laughs> yeah, the thing. Yeah, we should yeah, we should yeah, and remake it from the from the box. From from the box. Thank you. 